Hey guys, what's up? In the previous lessons, we produced different exterior simulations and we achieved some interesting results. However, we didn't worry too much about our file organization and now we don't have access to the configurations that we've made, like the time and date, the visual settings and also different angles. So all the changes that we've made were kind of lost because we didn't save anything. So now I would like to show you how we could efficiently organize our model so that we can have in one same file different simulations. To do that, we have to save scenes or views and also visual settings presets. So I'm starting all over again with my Villa Savoie model, but this time I'll just make some simple tests. So first of all, I will start Enscape Okay, I will synchronize my views and to show the process step by step, I'll start by deleting this existing scene or view up here. So I will right click and choose the option delete. Okay, and I'll choose a random angle here just to make some simple simulation. I'll decrease a little bit my rendering window. I'll also turn on the save frame. Okay. This angle is quite fine. So the first step to register all the changes that we are going to make in this file is to create a scene. We can create a scene in SketchUp. Here in the default tray, in the Scenes tab, we could basically click this Add Scene button, but we can also explore the view management, which would be the way to create scenes here in the Enscape window. And in my opinion, it's the best way to go. So I'll click here in the view management and just to change a little bit this view, I will play around with the sliders here. Maybe I will choose a morning time, something like this. Okay. And to save the parameters that I've just modified, we could either click here or since we are using the view management, we can basically hit this button down here. And now we can check the parameters that are being saved and we could click here once again. If you are using the latest version of Enscape, you can notice that now we have a parameter called Sun Position. So we can also control the Sun's position here, basically changing these two parameters, which I consider to be an easier way than to play with the sliders here in the Shadows tab. So here, if we move the Sun in this azimuth area, we are basically rotating the Sun around our model and it's very simple to understand what's going on here. And here, if we change the sun's position, we are changing the altitude, which means that we are basically changing the sun's angle in relation to the ground. So if we place it up here, it gets more vertical. And if we place it here, it gets more horizontal. And if we go downwards, we get a night simulation because the sun doesn't exist anymore. So it's very too easy to position the sun using these two parameters. And this could be an interesting way to work around if you are using the latest version of Enscape. So I'll basically try to find once again a morning time, but now I will use this function here. So I'll drag the sun very close to the ground and I'll play around with the sun's position. And using this method, you can also notice that it's easier to place the sun in the exact position that we like. I wasn't actually able to find this position using the time and the date. So something around here, I think it's okay. And after positioning the sun, we can go up here and choose a name. So I'll call this scene morning view and I'll click here, save. And now if we change the view or even change here, the lights, and we would like to go back, we basically can click here or we can also click up here and we will go back to that same camera view with the same morning sunlight that we've just chosen. And if we would like to change any parameter, we can basically click here, make the changes that we want, and then we can save it once more and it will update the view. 
Okay, so it's not so hard to save scenes here in Enscape and basically it's very similar to the way that we are used to in SketchUp. But let's say that we would like to save also some changes that we can make in the visual settings. So I'll close my view management for now. And normally when we are working with Enscape, aside from choosing the sun's position and the angle, we also configure the visual settings. So I'll click here. And in the previous videos, we were basically changing the visual settings and we were not worried about the parameters that we didn't save. So to organize better the file, what we could basically do is to expand this window here. So I'll click this button and here we can see that we can save different presets in the same file. So if we change this custom preset, the parameters will be saved in this preset here that existed previously in the file. So before making any change, we can actually create a preset. So I'll click this button here and I'll name it morning preset. And I'll click this button. Okay. So you can notice now that if we make any changes here, we are actually changing this preset that we've just created. So let's make some changes just to test it out. So I'll drag this window here and I'll basically change the exposure to make this image a little bit darker. I can also explore the image tab and increase the saturation, something like this. I'm not very interested in the quality of the image, but rather I would just like to check if this method will work. So I'll increase the saturation and maybe I'll also increase the vignette. So we have this very dark borders. Okay. So now we can see that if we change the preset here, for example, if I go back to the custom preset, we have the previous visual settings happening here. And if I choose the morning preset, we have this last configuration that we've just made. So now the next step would be to link this preset to the view that we've just created. So I can basically open again my view management and here in the morning view, I can click this button once again to edit my view. And now I can choose the morning preset to be the visual setting that is linked to the morning view. And now if I click save, we have our morning view scene and our morning preset linked to the scene. So we were able to register the sun location, the camera view and many other parameters here in our morning view. And all these other visual settings were saved in our morning preset. So to see if this is actually working out, I'll create another view with another visual setting linked to it. So I'll close this window here and I will move this window to the center and I'll basically choose another angle just to test it out again. I can also change the time and the date here if I like. I'll try to make some night scene. So maybe I'll choose a very early hour, something like this. This is quite fine. Okay. So I could create this view here in the scenes. I can also click this button here, create view. I'll click here. And once again, if you are using the latest version of Enscape, you can also make changes here in the azimuth and altitude, but I'll just leave it as it is. And now I can choose a name up here. I will name it as evening view. Okay. And before clicking here, you can notice that the morning preset is linked to this view. So I'll probably change this later. So I'll click here, create. Okay. And now once again, just to test it out, I'll click here in the visual settings and I'll make some changes. But first I will create a new preset so that I don't change the morning preset that I've already configured. So I'll click here. And I will name it as evening preset and I'll click here. So you can notice now that we are going to make changes in this evening preset. Okay. And I'll make some changes, for example, in the exposure to make it darker. Maybe I can now explore the image tab here and also change the saturation. I will add some bloom effect here. I think it will be interesting. Okay. And maybe I can change the color temperature 
just to exaggerate with this red tone. So I think it's quite fine. And now I have to link this evening preset with my view. So here in the evening view, I'll click this button. I'll choose here the evening preset, okay? So you can see that all the parameters that I've changed are now working with this evening view that I created. Now I can click here, save. And now I have two views, the morning view, the evening view, and each one is linked to a specific visual setting preset. Now I'm gonna test to see if they are actually working. So I'll close here this window. I'm gonna choose the morning view. And you can see that we have the other camera angle. We have the other visual settings that we've chosen. And if we choose once again the evening view, we go back to this last angle that we've created with this last preset that we've made as well. And actually we can change the views here and we can see that it's working quite fine. And we can also change our scenes in the most usual way which is up here. And you can also see that is working perfectly as well. So basically, I would strongly suggest that you try to organize your files and views and also save the visual settings and link them to specific views in order to have a very organized workflow. And using this method, you don't need to have many files with different simulations. You basically can store all the information that you need in one file containing different views and visual presets.